Hey guys, Alicia from Love Later Generation. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm on here with a bit of a different crafty video um, for you guys. So I recently had a few people reach out to me wanting to know what it is that my husband crafts next to me while I'm crafting. And I thought I would jump on and show you guys what it is that he creates. So the first thing he um, ended up starting with, sorry, so I'll first um, start by saying my husband loves to play Dungeons and Dragons. And so he first started playing with resin to create these little Dungeons and Dragons resin dice jars. So this was the first thing that he ended up creating using resin and this is a uh, for a potion for those of you that know what Dungeons and Dragons is you'll um you'll know what this is um this is another one which I absolutely love he ended up using one of my um B stamps on this one it looks so beautiful and as you can see, all you need to do then with your dice while you're playing the game is just shake the jar and then you'll get your, um, your reading off the dice there for what you roll. So it's a healing potion. So that's what he started creating. Then he started um, creating with the little characters and started painting them. So they start off white. And for those of you that don't like scary things, I suggest you probably don't watch if this is maybe going to scare you. <laughs> because a lot of the creatures in Dungeons and Dragons are your mystical creatures and some are quite creepy so these little miniatures start off white and then you paint them like how creepy is that spider it's almost real and he has magnets on all the bottom of his miniatures as well because they will then stick to a, um, a big set of tiles that he ended up creating so they don't sort of knock over and they sit in there nicely um, with the magnet. So you've got like lots of goblins. I'm not too sure what um, some of these characters names are. He knows, but I do not. <laughs> I do not know their, their monster names. He's the big Dungeons and Dragons fan, so he absolutely loves it and he plays it every week, sometimes three times a week. It's crazy. So I think I showed you all these little miniatures. These are some of his favorite ones that he did. As you can see, very, very creepy. I think I've showed you the same one. Then we have some bigger characters that he has painted like this big dragon as you can see so much detail he ends up having to use a um like one of those magnifying lights so he can get the really fine details especially when it's the really small characters like this trying to do their their face and things like that the little skulls on the back of his cloak so cool it's like a creepy bear We have this interesting three-headed creature here. 
think it's very similar to the um is it like the demi gorgon of stranger things So I'll just show you a few of these. So these are all the really cool miniatures that he's been painting. And then he went on to creating this dice tower, which is so cool. And he never did anything like this before. He was never a crafter he just um, watched a few YouTube videos and just keeps learning as he goes so as you can see here he created this dice tower using foam and then painting it adding like different types of materials to make it look like moss on the tower He uses acrylic paints and then you just basically pop the dice in here let's see if I can show you guys so you just pop your D&D dice into the tower and it rolls for you so then that gives you your your number in um the game so that's one thing then he started creating all these other little creepy like tombstones and bits and pieces that he can use in the game so you're basically like creating your own little like miniature world I actually really like the detail on here what he used he ended up using hot glue believe it or not to make this all look like scary cobwebs so clever all these little skull heads let's pop him there um, these are like the tiles that he creates for the ground and he has heaps of these and they basically turn into one big giant tile piece so there's the back so you can have it either side if you like depending on how you feel but we prefer this side we think that looks like more a bit sort of medieval really cool and then he's also made a little coffin And he makes these all by himself. He basically just taught himself how to create all these. And what else? Oh, he's got a few other little towers here. And um, I think this one he um, drilled together just so they'd stay. And he's done the, the bricks in different colours. Just look at the detail on those. So clever. And there's one of the big giant tiles that he did. So it's basically the ground and then you can just pop all your little characters and all the little bits and pieces. Kind of like a big giant map for when you're playing. And then we have a creepy door that he made. So at the moment he's in the process of making basically all the little miniatures. So like a whole entire town. And I'm going to pause in a second and I'm going to move my camera over and just show you what he is currently working on. Okay, so this is what he's currently working on and waiting for things to dry. So he's created a few different 
ladders. We've got a couple of little rafts there. I mean, look at like that little rope just there. I hope my camera's focusing. We've got that little guy there. There's a raft. Look at this guy here. I hope that'll focus. There we go. How good does that look? This little snake man. His ladder. And these are how they start off. These characters, and then he paints them. These are ones that he's started painting. And he's also working on making some little tents. He's just waiting for the glue to dry. And then we have a little spike pit that he is creating. Some steps. And these are really cool what he's working on right now. These little guys over here. Look at those. How creepy is that? But so clever. So there we go guys, there's um, there's what my husband Dean creates when he's crafting next to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care guys. Bye.